like. Is that right? Is that right? Mm, I need to stop sleeping. <laughs> so I just made a video a couple days ago about Ludacris. I responded to Cat Williams. Cat Williams was pretty much saying that uh, they're hanging out with the Illuminati's and one got the sweet deal and one didn't. Uh, and I pretty much downplayed it all, right? As far as the Illuminati thing. And, and uh, you know, of course, nowadays, because nowadays is so full of gullible people. I'm just brutally honest. No, zero fakery here, guys. So I'm right now just kind of like a, I guess you can call it like a debate, all right? So don't take it personal if I rub you the wrong way, all right? This is just the way I see things. You see things differently. I see things in a certain way. So, so as far as conspiracies, I, well, let, let's just go to what I said in my video that uh, a lot of people didn't really, don't really like because I ain't falling for this. I ain't drinking the Kool-Aid. So let us check this out. But this is a thing that, like I said, this is conspiracy generation. It is ridiculous. Guys, it is ridiculous. Let me tell you a little something about conspiracies. 99% of conspiracies that you hear are just conspiracies. Only 1% are actually... Real quick, guys. I kept on just saying conspiracies. What I meant to say is conspiracy theories. Okay? So just add the theories part in there. It's true. <laughs> so the thing about conspiracies is, it's easy to come up with one, by the way, is you take something that's true right an event that's true and just twist it a little bit now you got your conspiracy theory and nowadays man people are eating that stuff up internet thing you know it just kind of chills how stupid people are because humans are idiots we are stupid we're dumb <laughs> you notice know? i said we uh salesmen say there's a sucker born every day you got people that join cults cults and take Sinai and all kill each other. They kill they kill themselves because somebody manipulated them just enough to do that. So, so yeah, so brutally honest, right? And I, I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go more into this, but let's just go um, over to. Let's go to some comments here on my last video. A lot of, lot of views. Very low percentage on this one too also because I, I noticed that, you know, I don't, a lot of people don't like what I'm, I'm saying. I'm not agreeing with it. I'm just not agreeing with it. I'm not running with it. So they get a lot of views though. So people are clicking on there and watching it. They're just not liking what I'm saying. For instance, let's see. CIA coined the term conspiracy theories that throw people off from the truth. What does that mean? That every conspiracy theory in the world is true? <laughs> Come on, man. We have to use some common sense, all right? Now, I can see the CIA coming up with something like that to throw people off of stuff like uh, maybe UFO technology, right? Whether you believe in that or not. And if it's true or some technology that we may have that we don't want you know the rest of the world or other other people other countries right to know we have so putting out that disinformation kind of stuff yeah makes sense but eh, come on everything's everything that we call a conspiracy theory is true that's what you're trying to say there jay from the burls whatever here, here's one below. Cat also said the biggest lie they have to tell is they ain't Illuminati. Okay, they, the Illuminati would probably say that. They would probably say they ain't Illuminati. But what I said in this video is that if there is a group that calls themselves Illuminati, Cat Williams and Ludacris are not going to be in that group. Sorry. We're talking about elite elite. 
you know, people that aren't behind the camera, right? Who would be in this in this group? In this group that that uh, if they knew the end of, end of the world was going to happen in a week, they'd all be in a plane to this place to where they'd have their safe haven. And it, trust me, guys, it ain't going to be the, all the entertainers that you take as Illuminati. All right? Cat Williams, come on. Little Chris, man. I love Luke. Luke. I love them both as far as entertainers. Don't get me wrong. I'm not talking like anything about the, these people's skill set at all. Because they're tch, legends. They're amazing. But I'm saying Cat Williams is playing with you guys, man. You know that? Or he actually believes what he's saying. Do you know that there's people walking around this? Have you ever had a conversation with the old crazy homeless guy? One that was just really, 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 really smart. But the stuff he was saying was so crazy you just couldn't. Really? There's some intelligent people out there. And I, I mean, nowadays, nowadays, it seems that uh, in this climate, people are so prone to conspiracies and want to blame everything on a conspiracy you know everything in the world they gotta blame it on something hell they they, they try to make charles manson president <laughs> go back and look at some of his interviews and see if it doesn't sound like a lot like uh some of these people right <laughs> man okay here, here, here we go he's not playing illuminati illuminati i can't hear myself in this Illuminati are Freemasons, okay? Go look it up. That's the problem with people. They think because someone is a comedian, they are joking and it's real. It's evil. Do your own independent research. What research? Getting on the internet and typing in Freemasons and conspiracy theories and, and uh, Illuminati? Is that your research? Really? Clicking on these videos and watching these videos all the way through and looking down to seeing there's millions of views on this with with a ton of subscribers. Ching ching. That YouTube channel is making money every time they suck you in to watch these freaking videos. Don't you know the reason why there's so damn many conspiracy theories nowadays? It's because now you can make money off of them. No matter what, at all costs, it's all about money. It's how shallow people are. But anyway, Freemasons, you know, yeah, there's history, right? Um, and there are these beliefs uh, that may, may fall in line with the Illuminati beliefs, man. But then you, you gotta, I mean, it's evil, all right? So when we're talking evil, in a way, we're talking biblical stuff, right? So, biblical, you know, devil, okay? God, good versus evil. And a lot of that, a lot of that's being used today in, in, in politics and stuff like that, man. It's just, oh, politicians are just cesspools, man. But, so, basically, he's, Agreeing with Cat Williams. Well, let me tell you something. Cat Williams don't even agree with you. Okay? Cat Williams, like I said, doesn't even believe what he's saying. That's my opinion. Why? Because I've heard him contradict himself. Well, let's, let's show you what I mean by that. All right, he was on uh, Mike Tyson, hot boxing legend. Mike Tyson, look, that's Mike Tyson right there. Um, so anyway, he's on there and, and uh, really kind of laid back. I don't know if you guys seen this one. This was about a year ago, but um, he Mike Tyson, you know, Mike Tyson gets real deep. He asked him, you know, what, you know, what's it all about? What's what's everything all about? Okay. So you would think that that uh, he's on the same train you guys are on. You know, this is some good versus evil, devil versus you know God, right? 
uh, biblical stuff, uh, you know, devil stuff. But let, let's see what he thinks about everything. Can only be a thing because of a thing. We we can see that in all other industries, if it's not military or government based, there are no leaps in technology anywhere to be seen. Um, it's only in these certain sectors that we're able to jump ahead because of you know. Why like this? Why contract. do you think? Why do you think we exist? I, I believe it's a video game. Uh, Boom, I said that today. I said all this. Wow. I was with my wife. No, Holy. I said my wife today. I said, wow, this is an illusion. I love you. He's si I'm, look at I'm going to be so upset serious. when it's over. Right. Yeah, I think really that, serious. Wow, I said that today. Yeah, we, we, we believe that this is... Um, Matrix. This Matrix bullshit my wife believes. Why are you saying the same shit this nigga said? And well done. It, it, it's Scared the reason that everything sometimes. fits together. Like, it would be enough if there was... Do you just, believe in other lives? You lived other lives? I, I know that the whatever is in our body, whatever that weighs, I know that when it leaves here, it still weighs that in the universe. You didn't hear him say nothing about the devil, God, Bible, biblical stuff, right? Like I said in the video that I just showed you of me, uh, the comedians are very, very intelligent. Very intelligent. And he talks a, a little bit about... Um, you know, how he was in school, you know, he read a lot, you know, and uh, he was just kind of overachiever as far as trying to educate himself. And you know what he is, and he, and, you know, he is. So comedians are very intelligent. You have to be to do what they do. Um, so, so right there, guys. Go back over here. You know, it's evil, it's pure evil. So, the, the thing about Illuminati is, you know, it's kind of a, a devil thing, right? And a lot of these political channels that these, these uh, nuts, they're on there with their own YouTube channel spreading them this crazy stuff, you know, about these politicians, this way outlandish stuff. That you you see in a movie, a B movie at that, not even a good movie. Um, and people are sucking that stuff, just right. And these people are making a killing on YouTube. Um, you know, they ain't worried about it. You know, hey. So, so let's let's talk about uh, the conspiracy theory part of it. I said it in my video. Who take something that's true? Okay. Generation, it is ridiculous, guys. It is ridiculous. Let me tell you a little something about conspiracies. Ninety-nine percent of conspiracies that you hear are just conspiracies. Only one percent are actually true. So the thing about conspiracies is it's easy to come up with one. By the way, is you take something that's true, right? And invent that's true and just twist it a little bit. Now you got your conspiracy. Okay, let's let's go over to Mr. Cat Williams. Okay. Let's back it up. Competition and Everybody Beautiful. said that. Yeah. I've gotten to be around. That, but, um, Tell me you about know, your conspiracy, brother. What you believe in? He said you believe in that. What? Cat has the signs. What's the I, science of everything right now? What, what, I, what's your science of everything, Cat? I'm never pretending to know the answers to things that mm -hmm. I'm going into. I'm going into it trying to find out the answers. So that frees me up. Um, that my ego is not involved in what the answer turns out to be. But mm -hmm. we, we collect information. And um, people nowadays are so caught up in their conspiracies and they've been running their mouth about it and, and uh, getting so angry about it and let it consume their life. 
especially in politics, guys, that their ego now won't let them hear anything else. Their egos stop them in the tracks, man. It's, it's just keeping them dumb. There aren't that many conspiracy. He don't do that. So see theories anymore because we found out that I got to disagree with him there, though. There ain't as many conspiracy theories anymore. It's conspiracy theories on steroids nowadays. So I'm, I'm a little lost on that there. Anybody can. Uh, All conspiracy know that. theories. There's a nugget of truth in there. It came from somewhere. Mm. That's where it became a theory. And then it progressed to the point where it became a conspiracy theory mm. because there was something there. So, you know. Um, isn't that what I just said? <laughs> That's what I just said. And I watched this after I made that video. So, so I didn't watch this video and, and come up with that stuff. I kind of got on there and, and, sh and seen this video. I'm like, wow, he's answering all my questions right here. And this is one year ago, guys. One year. So don't act like this was so far back. And now he just opened his eyes. He was talking about him and uh, Ludacris. You know, um, getting, you know, the deals they got, whatever. And Lud Ludacris racking it in. Back when Fast and the Furious just, he, he first got on there. So, a lot more than a year ago. So listen, I'm not denying that there are, there are uh, bad people out there, selfish people out there. Uh, people out there with no conscience. Uh, social pass. And I'm not denying that they probably is a group of billionaires. I mean, billionaires that we don't know about. They're doing something. They could do some things. They can influence things, right? Uh, maybe, you know, they are, you know, when, when that day comes, you know, they're going to be doing that thing, you know? But... I'm not gonna, but I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that uh, blame everything on Illuminati. You know, if Illuminati is true, I'm not. To me, if it sounds like a B movie, it ain't real. It ain't true. And he told you right here. All right, a little smidgen of truth. Just a little bit of that. That's all you need to come up with the conspiracy theory conspiracy theory and the way it's the reason why it's called conspiracy theory is because it's a theory it isn't fact yet so so i get frustrated i get frustrated bad because i feel like i'm i'm only one of the very few that can actually see it see all this madness going on crystal clear crystal clear and now you got all this AI stuff. It's just going to make this conspiracy theory stuff just even go farther. Because you can actually put a voice to somebody and it looks like they're saying something. Right? I mean, <laughs> especially in this politic deal. You got king of conspiracy theories, Trump, out there throwing stuff out and just throwing... <laughs> And a lot of that stuff is sticking nowadays. I mean, it, it is crazy. And then the stuff he says is just... Anybody with any sense of common sense would know that this guy is full of shit. But, yeah, we're falling for that. Not me. All right, man. That's it. Uh, so, just a little addition to the video I did the other day. Just because of the comments. I'm curious on what you guys think. Go ahead and comment back below. If you agree with me, let it be known, man. Let it be known down there because I'm only going to get comments from people that disagree with me down there. Let, let me know I'm not alone on this. Let me know that there's other people out there that actually have some common sense. All right? All right? I'll get into some more of this stuff, too. If, let me know if you want to see some more. See you in the next one. Like my first rap, did I ever wrote vicious blood back? All the reason dripping.